What's up, everybody? It's Coach JB with Hoop Study, and today we're breaking down Sabrina Ionescu. Let's check it out. So if we look at Ionescu's offense, you can see that the pick and roll is her most prominent category, 40% of the time. And in the pick and roll, 35% of the time it's a step up screen and 27% of the time it's a sideline pick and roll. And you'll notice that a lot of their step up screens are on the sideline. We'll also take a look at Sabrina Ionescu's assist. 54% of her assists are coming out of a pick and roll. But before we get into Ionescu's breakdown, let's talk about the step up screen. The step up screen is a ball screen set with the screeners back to the baseline, typically sending the offensive player to attack downhill and to the sideline. Step ups can occur in the half court setting or in transition. The screener typically steps up from the corner or the short corner area. In this clip, we see that the screener steps up from the slot area to set an on-ball screen, and the ball handler uses that screen to get downhill and pull up for a mid-range jumper. Now, one of the keys when setting this screen, you can see that the screener pops their feet, meaning they get stationary and they allow the ball handler to come off of the step-up screen. Now, we'll also see the screener actually headhunt and hit the on-ball defender, if that's the case, you have to make sure that you're setting your defender up and running them directly into the screen. And afterwards, we see Ionescu just use her skill and ability to get up a shot. And the skills that you use coming off of these screens is really gonna be based off of reading what you have from the defender. Here we saw that she got a mid-range jumper up. And in our next step up screen or middle ball screen, it actually turns into a re-screen and she's able to attack downhill. And another benefit to the step up screen is that the defense has to communicate quicker. And here we see that they miscommunicate and both defenders get beat. Now you may not always have a driving opportunity. You might have to pull up for a mid range jumper. And if that's the case, just make sure that you're reading the defense and you're seeing where that jumper should be coming from. Let's see how well you read this next play. When the ball handler comes off of the screen, what do you think is the best option? Is it attack the big and get downhill? Is it snake the screen and get up a shot? Or is it a drive and kick to the opposite corner for a three? If you chose snake the screen and get up a shot, then you would be right. But let's run this clip back and explain the why for the people that didn't get it right. When she comes off of this screen, you're gonna see that the big is in good guarding position. So it's gonna be really difficult to drive past them and get up a good shot. And our help defense is in great position as well. So passing that ball to the corner is probably gonna result in a steal. But our on-ball defender is getting hung up on the screen. And if we look into the open area, snaking there is just gonna make it for an easy shot. Remember, we're looking for the best option for what we're reading. Now let's run some clips back live so this way you can see how she flows in the game. They're not all gonna be step up screens, but pay attention to how she's reading the defense and taking the best shot available to her. That the defense was about to recover, gave a nice little shot pick, laid it on, uh, that's how you do it. Ionescu working on a little more than four minutes to play. It is a four-point ball game. Off the dribble drop. There's going to be that surge. How are they going to respond to that surge? And a couple names we did not see. Jewel o and Grow as a team. That's going to dictate everything else. And wait until Kia Stokes, Rebecca Allen as Ionescu. Now, as stated in the beginning of the video, we talked about how 54% of Ionescu's assists come out of a pick-and-roll scenario. Let's take a look at some of those clips. Now, one thing that you're going to notice very quickly is how skilled of a passer Ionescu actually is. You're always hearing me talk about reading the defense and making sure that you make the best pass possible. But if you don't have the skill to go along with that read, it's like having a car that doesn't have an engine in it. You can have that Lambo, but if it has a Ford Pinto engine in it, you're not exactly going to get very far. Now, there was a huge variety in the skills and the passes that were used, but there are a couple that I want to hit on. First up, we have our fake it to make it. You can see that she faked that pass high and then threw a bounce pass. Same here, kind of steps over top, faked it, and then she made it. 
Next up, we have our hook pass. You'll notice that when she throws this pass, she doesn't really have the ability to open up, turn, and then throw that pass. She has to throw it over her head with a hook in order to be able to get it to the cutter. Inescu continues to see the her sixth game back after missing 15 with an LCL sprain. And then lastly, we're going to see her utilize a one-handed pass or a snap pass, a push pass, whatever you want to call it. But again, this has a lot to do with her body positioning. You're not always going to be in the position to use two hands and step through to throw a proper chest pass or bounce pass. So you're going to have to have that ability to use maybe just one hand and step around the defense or to let the pass go on the fly. So I think the biggest thing that you could take away from this video, besides looking at the different reads that she makes, is that you do need to make sure that you're working on different skills and ways of passing the basketball in order to be able to back up those reads that you have. Let's check out some more live clips of her passing ability. Such a threat, she's able to attract the defense and make it easy for her teammates. Six goal run, oh, she has seven. 14 to 4, Liberty Rock. She touches it that deep in the lane. She is going to get an opportunity. Nice dive. Great. Defensively, we've seen everyone participate. Back to the same starting five. A lot of middle pick and roll. You're going to see it right here. And that's where Howard excels. And that's where Sabrina with the Liberty because they shoot it so well. It's such a high clip. It'll be easy for them to get. The Liberty were smoking hot out of the gate now need to reignite themselves. Nice feed to Laney. Has entered the game for the Liberty. She has been out with left ankle tendonitis. Rashonda Gray has also entered. She's on a to the charity stripe yet. They are three for 16 from the field, two of 10 from distance. Nice. Let's review. The step up screen occurs in the half court setting or in transition. The screener typically steps up from the corner or the short corner area. When it comes to pick and roll passing, work on your reads and the ability to make a variety of passes so when you make the best read, you can deliver the ball to your teammate on time and on target.